Hello everybody, today we are going to talk about two things, how to set up characters using only metahuman data and using metahuman data that is adjusted. So let's slowly start by opening the tool and create a new project and a new character. For example, our project name can be metahuman creator, given that we are using the character from the metahuman creator we can pick width joints or blend shapes only for now we are going to use blend shapes only and the name is going to be character 01 <coughs> okay now we can just choose the dna data and i downloaded this character from the bridge so no manual editing was done on this character whatsoever so you can see this is how it looks And I'm going to load this directory, load this DNA data, and hit editing mode. Once that is done, I'm going to take a look at what I got. And this is exactly the same character that I got on my bridge. So I can just turn off the joints and turn off the other lots to see what I have here. Okay, this is my character. I can just check if everything is okay, if everything is in the right position, eye edge, eye shell, eyelashes, and all other assets. The next step would be to prepare the character. Uh, once this is done, I can take a closer look. As now I have my character set up on the rig, I can move everything I need to, everything is working okay. Again, I can hide the joints, hide or unhide any lots I need, and save the scene. I can go to character editing, just reload the scene so I make sure everything is okay, and unhide all the lots. Now I'm going to reposition the lots so you can see everything all at once. And we are going to import a test animation to see how the character is working, or rather how the blend shapes are working with the animation. Once we have this set up, we can just import animation. This is our test animation that you can use. Later on you will have an option to load your own animation as well. I'm going to put a zero frame and hit play to see what happens. So this is something interesting that you can see. All the lots are using the same animation at exactly the same time. And you can see how this will work as a game character. It's truly beautiful to see something like this working all at once like it should. So you can play around with this, see how it works, look at it from different sides. We can get a little closer to every lot. Now, the second part would be custom modifications to the downloaded MetaHuman character. So, we have a MetaHuman character that we already prepared, but what if we wanted to manually adjust something? Let's see how we can do that. We are just going to load the new scene. And do some manual work on it. We can do this in ZBrush, in whatever program you want. I'm just going to manually edit something that will be obvious to see once we set up the character. Given that I don't want to influence anything on the eyes, because then I would need to reposition all of the eye assets that can't be automatically calculated, I'm just adding or stretching some parts of the face. Now I'm going to export this head and only the head in the folder structure of the character under blend shapes neutral 
make sure to have the name like head underscore lot zero underscore mesh save as obj only that should be in that folder nothing else if you didn't uh, manually adjust any other lots or uh, any other assets and i'm going to use the same project the same character choose the dna file but now to the exact same dna file but now everything is going to get called upon from the dna file except the head because we have the head in this folder structure here so whatever is in the folder is going to be basically the strongest and get positioned there now we have editing mode done and we are just going to turn off plant shape uh, turn off joints and other lots so we can see what we have and it set up the character exactly as we made him now let's prepare the character once that is done we can again hide the joints and see how the rig is reacting so this is our edited character we're going to save it go to character editing tab and set up the scene for blend shape work now we can test if everything is working on the rig a rig is registering our movement perfect our character is working let's see how some examples of blend shapes are going to be on the character for example mouth uh, mouth right mouth left lips blow anything that makes a change on him so he has pretty good blend shapes let's hide the retopo and shape and turn on the other lots we're going to import the animation again put it from zero frames and just position other lots so we can see everything at once just to compare and see if everything is working like it should and once we hit play we can see that everything is working perfectly and our character is looking great even though we manually edited something so this is the way that you can get custom characters done pretty quickly without the need for manual work on the blend shapes you can always edit the blend shapes that is not a problem but you can get a pretty good character with just three clicks basically and that is it for today thank you for joining us hope this helps and we are looking forward to seeing what you create with the tool